deception in the work of the cave scientist. To further entrench the illusion of systems and origins, the medical church has a branch of priests they call specialists. Special forces. Specialists are the worst kinds of doctors because disease to them and their protocols for treatment are based in the worst form of fragmentation. Their science again exists only as a fragmented model on paper. I use the, 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 the definition or at least the example of if a man goes in to see a doctor who's a proctologist and he has a heart ailment, nine times out of 10 the proctologist is gonna tell him that his asshole is the problem rather than his heart because the only thing he is versed in is your asshole. And when you deal with fragmentation like that, you can divvy the body up the way they divvy up the cow and show you all the different parts that they're gonna feed to you. So you get a respiratory therapist, a eye, ears, nose, and throat therapist, a bone therapist, a skin therapist, a gastroenterologist, a but think about this, the mouth, the throat, the stomach, the kidneys, and the large intestines could not perform digestion, assimilation, and elimination without the brain and the nerves. In fact, the only purpose for diagnosis is to find out which drug or drug-based therapy you will be treated with. There is no healing model for the end results of diagnosis. Let me repeat that. There is no healing model for the end result of diagnosis. Only a drug model, a drug protocol, or a surgical protocol. Ask any doctor if he's going to help heal you when you go see him. It is the same with the so-called alternative healing community, unfortunately. What are the herbal sacraments for the medical drug sacraments? Are the same for their own particular demons. And if you look at all of what it is the alternative health community does is they label the so-called separate symptoms the way the medical church. This is good for, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, diabetes. This is good for high blood pressure. This good. What the fuck is all that? How are you gonna bring the language of the person you say you alternative to into your dictionary, into your semantics? If you are alternative, then there is nothing that you are going to bring from them to you. I don't know if you can see that. Any substance, now listen carefully, any substance that is given to a sick person to reduce their symptoms only prolongs the body's effort to heal itself. Let me repeat that. Any substance that you give to a person, anyone who is sick, anything you give to anyone that's sick to reduce the symptoms, you prolong the healing process of that person. It is cosmic intelligence that is the healer. Only that which created you can heal you. Whatever is needed by intelligence will be provided by the air, the sun, and the water as a true naturopath you must assist in the mode of healing or create the environment and the availability for those three uh, aspects to be introduced to you. So if you as a true healer want to be, and there's no true healers in the flesh. The true healer is only the source you came from. So what you are is nothing more than an assistant. An assistant to a process that is inevitable. And what you do is to teach that person to create the environment in thought, word, deed. The environment that is around that person so that those three components may act optimally and to the best benefit of the person that is healing. Assistance versus interference. The body creates what it needs in all phases of its life. It knows what to do in health, and it damn sure knows what to do in sickness. Intelligence does not suspend 
at the moment you become ill. How the hell is it you think that the doctor all of a sudden knows something about the body because you just got sick? There is no protocol for health. There is no protocol in medical science for the word health. There's not even the word God in any of their medical books. So how in the hell are they going to do any healing? That's right. I got an amen. <laughs> the ancestors just gave an ashe. Intelligence does not suspend at the point when you feel ill. In fact, it is how kicked into high gear. But your fear motivates you to seek some reprieve. Herbs, my beloved brothers and sisters, herbs are stimulants. They are irritants. They are stimulants. Get used to that word today. Get used to the word irritate. Get used to the word stimulate. Because they do not and are not the same as nutrition. Stimulation is not nutrition. Oh, you're going to find out all about the working model of that vehicle of consciousness that you've been walking around with. Y'all know more about your damn car than you do yourself. But today, by the time you walk out, you're going to be experts or inperts. Because I hope that you're all going to be able to walk the journey with us. You know, even if you're sleeping, I'm going to talk to that other part of you. Herbs are stimulants, irritants that remove symptoms only. Just like pharmaceutical herbs. You see, there's no difference between pharmaceutical drugs and herbs because the word pharmaceutical or pharmacology came from the Greek word pharmakon, which means magical herbs. The drug manufacturers seeks out all types of different uh, herbs so that they could synthesize analog uh, materials from it to create a drug. Know this, as soon as your symptoms leave, know that your body's intelligence has rerouted your vitality from its chosen area of healing, that is the area experiencing the symptoms, to your elimination of the noxious substance that you were just introducing into your body. Whenever you have a symptom and you introduce any component into that temple that is going to ameliorate the symptom, know that that component has to be dangerous to the particular economy of the body because that particular pain that you were feeling was the evidence of your vital life force being mobilized to your benefit. If, if your symptoms have been allayed, it means that the body has attenuated its attention to that area and has moved its attention to the most dangerous component, the one that is more life-threatening. See the science. Your body does not operate by thinking that you can get something out of nothing. Anything that you do to irritate the body and stimulate the body taxes your own vital reservoir of accumulated strength. Oh, we're going to get into it today. Every illusion you have about what power, strength, vitality, sickness, and disease is, is leaving here today. Now, I'm not saying that you should switch over radically to everything that I have come to understand in my own journey. This is something for you to think about. This is what I'm giving to you is something that you will carry with you. And as you are moving along your path, you will adjust accordingly. And you will find yourself jettisoning all the bullshit that has been accumulated based upon the illusion of what you believe to be your body's reality. It's time to wake up.